There has been a lot of hue and cry over the film Razakar, which has become the latest flashpoint between the ruling Bharat Rashtra Samiti and the Bharatiya Janta Party. And of course, the MIM has also taken objections to it. The movie, whose teaser was recently released, talks at length, or rather depicts, the alleged atrocities carried out by the Razakars on Hindus in Hyderabad. And this movie has quite literally stirred up the hornet's nest as ruling party, the Bharat Rashtra Samiti says that this is a ploy by the Bharatiya Janta Party to rake up communal sentiments ahead of elections in Telangana. So what is so controversial about the film Razakars? Let me break it down for you. Well, as I said, the movie talks at length about the alleged atrocities that have been committed by the Razakars against the Hindu population. So who were Razakars? Now, according to whatever available material and various reports, Razakars were a controversial group that was formed in 1938 by Majlis leader Bahadur Jung. The group expanded rapidly under the leadership of Kazim Rizvi. Now, a little bit of history. Back in 1948, when Hyderabad was still not liberated in that sense, Sardar Vallabhai Patel, as in the government of India, carried out Operation Polo to liberate Hyderabad from Nizam states, from Nizam ruling, and integrate it with the rest of the country. This is the reason why the BJP, on the September 17th, celebrates National Liberation Day to commemorate the success of Operation Polo. The BRS and the MIM have called this the Integration Day and that is because this was the day when Hyderabad state was integrated with the rest of the country. For the BJP, the liberation from the ruling of Nizam and particularly Razakar is a victory that they want to highlight as far as Telangana is concerned. In fact, remember, Hyderabad state comprising Telangana and parts of present-day uh, Maharashtra, particularly the Maratwada region, acceded to India on the 17th of September 1948. It was about 13 months after India gained independence. And this followed because of the success of Operation Polo, which the BJP wants to commemorate. Now, the movie Razaka, remember, Apart from talking at length about the alleged atrocities, violence that was carried out by the Razakar and the subsequent um, asylum of Kazim Rizvi, remember, who fled to Pakistan, uh, is also a testament, according to the BJP, to the hard work and the struggle put in by the people of Hyderabad. And that is why they say, despite the political colour that is being attached to the film, this is an attempt to educate the masses, especially the younger population. And this was what the producer of the film, Gudu Nara and Reddy, in an earlier interview to CNN News 18, told us. He is actively associated by the, with the BJP, but he says that he has bankrolled the film at his own choice because he wants to simply enlighten the younger population about the struggles and tribulations. Mr. Gudu Nara and Reddy also told me that the film was heavily inspired by the struggles of his great-grandfather, remember, who fought against the Razakars. So why are the parties violently reacting to it? Well, for starters, Kavita, K. Kavita in fact, BRS, MLC and the Chief Minister's daughter says, movies like Kashmir Files and now uh, uh, Brazakar is an attempt and plot by the BJP to flare up communal sentiments because they have nothing else to offer to the people of Telangana considering that their loss in the state electorally is inevitable. So what was the reaction of BRS working president KT Ramarao? Well, he tweeted to say, and I quote, some intellectually bankrupt jokers of the BJP are doing their best to instigate communal violence and polarization. The same sentiment was also echoed by Asaduddin Oweisi, AIMIM chief. He says BJP has nothing else to offer apart from fanning communal issues and that this is yet another trick from their books to do what they are best at doing, that is acting at hoodwinking people. Now the movie Razaka, remember, for the BJP has particularly garnered a lot of target 
towards Asaduddin Owaisi because the BJP says time and again something that their former party president here, Bandi Sanjay, kept harping on is the fact that Asaduddin Owaisi's AIMIM is actually the descendant of the MIM founder and its uh, protege, Kazim Rizvi. Now, a charge that has been vehemently denied by Asaduddin Owaisi, who says that if the BJP is so obsessed with Kazim Rizvi and his lineage, they must read their history properly. They're only presenting fictional story to dissuade the masses and try to come up with false narrative in a bid to make some advantage and gains in the state of Telangana. The film so far does not have a release date as of yet, but it has certainly kick-started a lot of controversy ahead of the crucial Telangana elections slated later this year.